Hi and welcome to Memo Live TV. In this video series, we want to show you how to get started using Memo Live. If you want to try Memo Live for yourself, join the beta program at the beta signup page. Just enter your name and email address and we will send you an email right back with a download link and a beta license so you can try it yourself. If you have any questions along the way, just make sure you visit our Memo Live support resources in the Boings Connect tab. You will find the forum FAQs and ways of contacting us right inside of the Boeing's Connect. So let's jump right in today's topic and it's all about working with layers. So there is a new way to access layers and it is this little plus icon right above the layer stack. Just click it and a pop-up will open. You can either scroll and just drag from there or you can search. Let's do that. For example, let's look for a lower third. That was easy. Dragging a lower third. And as you can see, the popover stays there. So you can add more. So we want the presenter, for example. We add it in. And if we now click anywhere else, the popover disappears. So now let's take a look at layers themselves. You enable and disable them by hitting the live button, just as you, you were used to it in Boing's TV. But there is something new on how to adjust everything in a layer. So let's, for this, switch the lower third to manual so it doesn't turn off by itself. And let's have a look. Now, I want to make the lower third larger, for example. Then I just go in and grab it right where I want to adjust it. I can move the icon around wherever I want. I can adjust the icon size if I want to. I can also place the text somewhere else and also do the same thing with the subtitle. So I can manipulate everything right in place. So no more fiddling with um, complicated controls. The same thing works in any layer that has any geometric controls. So for example, same with the, lower, uh, with the presenter. So let's add a source here and enable the presenter. So I want to have the, back, the gap a little bit larger. I just grab it and resize it. I want it to be closer to the bottom. Not a problem. I can just do that. So this works in any layer that can be modified graphically somehow. So this will make the layer workflow so much easier. One more thing. We still have layer settings as they were called in Boing C1. Now they are called layer variants and can be accessed using the plus button here. You can still cycle through them using those buttons. You still have them right inside of your layer and when you collapse them here you have the arrow buttons to cycle through the settings or variants. I'm still getting used to the new name like this. The formerly called parameters in the middle are now called settings because that made a lot more sense. So this is all you need to know about layers in Mimo Live. And as I said in the beginning, if you want to try it yourself, go to the Mimo Live beta sign up page and you can get your download and beta license right there and give it a spin. And as I also said in the very beginning, tap into our Mimo Live support resources in Boings Connect and have a look what we have there, discuss with other beta testers in our forums or contact us if you have any questions. That's it for today. See you. Goodbye.